Hey ladies, so I am post HSG and I wanted to get on and make a video. Um, both of my videos are going to be uploaded after I get home. So they're gonna be like one back to back. Um, oh, that felt good. Um, they're gonna be one right after the other uploaded. So um, I just wanted to let everybody know what happened. Um, and I may or may not, I'm gonna email my doctor because I forgot to ask, but um, I may or may not be able to get a video of the actual um, x-ray imaging. So I'm gonna ask if I can have a DVD of that, which it should not be an issue, um, so that I can upload that for you guys and maybe do a video with voiceovers of what's happening. Um, during that so I'm gonna ask my doctor for that and so let's just kind of jump right into it I went in and I've been a little bit nervous all day not because I was particularly nervous that it was going to hurt I have had something like an HSG before but they used the wrong tools and the wrong um, the wrong contrast so they couldn't see anything so um, the doctor did say this was going to feel drastically different because they used different tools um, and a different dye. So it was going to feel different. Um, so I was a little worried that it might hurt. And also because I'm at a different point in TTC. So, you know, um, different things hurt at different times. Just like in pregnancy, sometimes, you know, um, checking um, cervical status and all that towards the end. Sometimes it doesn't hurt and sometimes it does. So, you know, they told me take 600 milligrams, uh, take 600 milligrams of ibuprofen, um, about 30 minutes to an hour before and it shouldn't hurt too bad. So I said, okay, cool. Uh, I'll probably do that. Um, generally speaking, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, but um, different pains are different tolerances in my opinion. So I was going to take it just in case. I totally forgot. I got there actually to check in and I went, oh shit. I totally forgot to take the ibuprofen. I don't know if it's going to hurt. What do you bet this is going to be like the worst pain in my life? So I got back there. They called me back right on time. And there were three people that were in the room at various times. So a, a radiology tech uh, brought me back and told me to take off my pants and underwear and get a gown, a hospital gown on. So I did that and then she had me lay down on the table and she took an x-ray of my pelvis um, just to make sure that I'm laying in the right place at the table and to um, just to kind of get a look and feel of where they would need to put the x-ray machine, I'm assuming. So she took an x-ray of my pelvis and then she said, you know, my doctor would be in in a few minutes and just kind of relax, talk on my phone, whatever. So I'm, I don't think I've ever had an x-ray of my pelvis. So I was sitting there looking at it and I posted this on Facebook, but I was sitting there looking at this x-ray of my pelvis and there were some in the middle, there were some black spots. And from watching way too much house, you know, black spots are, are bad. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, I'm like, huh, I wonder what those are. And I'm about to ask the radiology tech, or the x-ray tech, what those black spots are. But then the part of me, I've worked in the medical field before, just as a secretary, but I've worked in the medical field before. So I'm sitting there, I was like, you know what? What do you bet, as soon as I ask what those black spots are, she's gonna go, oh, well, that's poop. <laughs> and that thought right there stopped me from asking. And I'm fairly sure that's probably what it was, but I was just, I was cracking up in my mind, so I totally uploaded that to Facebook. Cause, you know, I'm sitting there going, oh God, what if that's like tumors? And then I'm like, you know, it's probably just normal intestinal things going on and she would probably have no hesitation in pointing that out so I just kind of skipped asking um yeah so then I waited for my doctor doctor came in we chatted a little bit talked about the RE appointment and um 
when to schedule that, which I scheduled it for just a couple days before this cycle should end. And she said that was perfect because if this cycle doesn't work out, maybe we can just jump right into the first treatment um, with next cycle. And um, otherwise, you know, I've paid for one appointment um, and ended up being pregnant. So not a huge loss there. So obviously hoping this cycle works out, but if not, I have an appointment and we can just kind of jump right into treatment. So then she, um, you know, they got all the tools and everything ready. Um, she put the, oh Lord, forceps, forceps in, and that's not an uncomfortable thing for me. So I was okay. Um, she put the catheter in and she said, okay, you're going to feel a little cramp. And, um, I felt something. It's not like I didn't feel anything, but it didn't feel crampy to me at all. It just felt like I could feel the tube of the calf that are moving up. So I felt that. And then we sat there and we waited. <laughs> she told me to move up on the table. So I moved up on the table, um, got positioned. We waited for the, there was a special x-ray tech that came in and he came in and got everything, the actual machine positioned and they turned the monitor so they could see it. And, um, she pushed the die in really slow. I could feel the die going in. It did not hurt. Um, it flowed out nicely. Um, and that was it. So she, uh, the guy, the, it was a guy, it was a male x-ray tech that came in to do that imaging. Um, but they said everything looked really good. There was no blockages and, uh, my uterus is tilted slightly forward, which is normal and good. And it doesn't look like a bad shape or anything like that. So that's really good. The whole HSG looked really great. Um, so it may have like if there's any microscopic um, cells or tissue or anything that may have been in the tubes that is now cleared out so I do have that increased fertility for the next three ish months so that's all good um, and that was pretty much it she took the catheter out um, I they gave me a pad I went into the bathroom got my underwear and pants back on um, I do have some spotting which I'm considering as a good thing because this is the way I look at it. Um, with your cycle, with your period, you are supposed to flush every bit of dead tissue or every bit of bad, not bad, but old blood and tissue out. If I'm having spotting, that means I didn't flush everything out or my body didn't flush every single bit of um, lining out. So now all of that is gone. I don't have to worry about it. And, um, we're good to go for this cycle. So my doctor specifically said, do try this cycle because of that increased fertility. So we are, and that was really it. So I had a really good HSG experience, not a problem. I have no pain afterwards. Um, no reaction to the dye, which I did not expect any of that. Um, and that's it. So a bit of spotting. I do have that pad on because the dye is leaking out. Um, and some spotting. And that's it. So that's my HSG experience. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. And I'd love to answer. Talk to you guys later.